I've arrived. Erim, I would like to ask you something. Yes. Who should lead the world? We gods or humans? It's only natural that we control the world. Hmm. But why do you ask that? Judgment time along with the dual blade has come. Are you saying the dual blade is resonating? Would you go? Yes. Uh, once again, welcome everyone to Classic Games Vi Revisited and Reimagined. I'm God Arm Dine, call me Dine, and today we are revisiting an old favorite in terms of a ROM hack. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, of course revisit this old favorite, one of my top three SNES games of all time, and one of the first Let's Plays on this channel. Welcome to the revisit of Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinistrals, Specchio Lufia. There's our little title screen, and if we let it continue to play out, we'll receive a nice little character introduction. I never get sick of this thing. I heard there are monsters in the North Cave. Yeah. Are you going away again? Well, that's my job. Be, be careful. I'll be all right. You always say that. I always worry. I'll get them, but you have to buy them to you. I will. No, well, see ya. Oh, guy, you're here. Hilda, what's up? Jesse was looking for you. Really? She was upset. Did you do something? Nope! Yeah? I forgot our date and went to get monsters. Typical. No wonder Jesse's angry. Women don't get it. It's a man thing. I get it, all right. You prefer monsters! Let me the cry, baby! Let me the cry, baby! Cry, baby! Why do we have the same voice? Because we look like twins. <laughs> hey, you boys, you should be nice to girls. I'm out in Salon! Run! <laughs> Listen carefully, Lemmy. You are not one of the Koopalings. Stop trying to pretend. They're wrong, but try to be strong. Why? My father said it's okay for girls to cry. Listen, a woman's tears should blah, 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 lecture, 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 waiting out the timing, blah, 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 blah. I say there's no one who can beat me. Monsters are all over the North Labyrinth! Chill, good man. With my sword, I'll... Dot, dot, dot. Ah, 
Where are the monsters? In the North Labyrinth, Your Highness. Excellent! Joseph, follow me! Yes, Your Highness. So, so is Decker! I get it! So that's how it works! I understand at last! I'll start working right now! Looks like Lexus is off inventing again. His inventions never work the way they should. Yeah, he sank a ship with his last one. Uh. What was that invention, anyway? A machine to move ships without wind. Oh, that's right. Hey, your memory's pretty good. Yeah, because it's my ship that went under! Inconsistent accent. <laughs> Milka, wait. Artea! Milka, where have you been these days? I... I... The worst thing you can do is lie to yourself. But Artea, the people in the city... Milka, say nothing more. Mother! Artea is aware of everything. Karen. Artea, it must be really hard on you too. or humans. Which of us is really transient on Earth? Dual Blade, do you have the real answer? Now the thing about this hack is every mode is unlocked from the start. You can just do the normal game retry mode or gift mode if you want to jump straight to the ancient cave. I'm actually going to play again on retry mode just because there's a little bit of grinding you have to do at the start of the game. And I just honestly feel it's, it's a much better curve just with the just with the experience and gold boost. This will, this will save time, just be able to get to the meat of the game faster. It it's honestly may change a few things uh, down the line because there are a few extra battles, a new bonus boss, and a a change up with one of the other bosses where your level will uh, will determine the difficulty however i would i would still have to grind outside of the curve to reach them that quickly so so long as i just buy what i need and don't do a lot of extra grinding i still i still may grind up enough to beat goddess on the first battle just to, just to kick his butt right, let's go ahead and start as usual our hero's default name is maxim we're going to stick with that for this run and let's go Tia, are you home? Hi, Maxim. How was work today? All right. I got six jellies. Let's see. Uh, that'll be 120 gold pieces, right? Wait a minute, Tia. I said six jellies. That comes to 180 gold pieces. Look, monsters are cheap these days. The city's suffering, so I can't pay the top price. Ah, oh, yeah, it's true. More monsters every day. It's spooky, you know? Well, I should appreciate it, though. I'm a monster hunter. I'd lose my job without them. Maxim, have you thought about getting an ordinary job? What is an ordinary job, anyway? Let's see... Like... A shop owner, perhaps? <laughs> a shop owner? <laughs> That'll be the day! How can he be so insensitive? Did you say something to you? Forget it! Here's your money! Ouch, you just shove it right in my face. Uh... Can I just talk to you? Max, please be careful. Anyway, do you need anything? Well, I'm not here as a customer, but I will see what I've got. What you've got. Oh yeah, the basic stuff. Go ahead and 
start with a with a rapier to boost my attack power, and I'll get I'll get more money out of town. Let's go ahead and see what el what everyone else in town has to say. Why doesn't she get upset at anyone except you, Maxim? Doesn't she like you? Uh, little girl, that is called the Sundari Trophy. Wait, wait a second, you're a miniature Hatsune Miku! I can hear Tia's voice from here. You should apologize to her later, okay? Hey, Max, about the warrior business. I have to go to Sunnelton to get my grandpa's favorite tea. Don't you think there are more monsters in the cave of Sunnelton than there used to be? This city is so peaceful. And the city actually has absolutely nothing to do with the plot. Nor formal training, your soldiership is good. You must have natural talent. I saw a red ball of light shooting into the northern sea last night. I wonder what it was. My granddaughter Daisy is going to Sunnelton to buy some wonderful tea. I so look forward to it. I have a sense of foreboding these days. Hope it's nothing. Maxim, I'll show you my secret to, to, to dungeon fighting sometime soon. Well, in terms of sometime soon, that is immediately when we try to leave town. Let's go ahead and talk to you. Well, I've been around for quite some time. I know many things, you see. What do you wish to know? So we have uh, the basic tutorial. Of course, saving the game spells. About help is probably the important one. That uh, is most important for newcomers. You can see help in battle or when you buy items. Place the cursor at the spell item and press the X button. Help is great when you don't know the effects of the spell. But I wonder where it comes from, I wonder. But where does it come from, I wonder? I was about to say, oh, that's a typo, but nope, that was a bad read. But in terms of our, our churches, they are the main save source outside of dungeons. Otherwise, we can cure status ailments, and as well as revive, I believe, and lift, lift curses. We'll likely see that come into play much, much later. Go and check out the rest of town on our way out. But here's the important... Listen, Maxim, there's a somewhat unusual way to use spells. Would you like to know about it? There's no such thing as a one enemy or all enemy spell anymore. It's any spell for any enemy. That is, of course, assuming you have played the first game, where you can only target groups of enemies, not individual ones. When there are three jellies, you can put a spell on any or all of them. Of course, if you attack all of them, the damage is less compared to attacking just one. You can concentrate your spell against one enemy or spread it out to attack weak enemies all at once. Also, it's too troublesome to choose one enemy at a time when attacking all of them. In that case, use the R button to select all the enemies at once. Remember this. But what is an R button, anyway? I don't know. Do you know, Maxim? Ah, it's just breaking the fourth wall. Nothing wrong with that. Get into the inn. Uh, there's really nothing else here other than staying the night. Uh, this... I don't. I wonder if they fixed the bug where if you don't have enough money, it lets you stay anyway. How much is it? Uh, but it's free anyway in this case. We'll go ahead and rest later. Oh, can't even read the sign. Oh, it's you, Maxim! This is a good time to show you my secret techniques for fighting in dungeons. I'll wait for you at the dungeon south of here. Welcome to Elsid. And now leaving Elsid. So, yep. Uh, this is the tutorial dungeon. There are actually no encounters in this segment of the map. We have to cross the bridge. Of course, if they warn us about fighting stronger enemies when crossing the bridge, we're playing the wrong game. But, welcome to the Secret Skills Cave! You took so long, Maxim! Let's go ahead and start the lesson for secret techniques in the dungeon. First, the important thing is to learn the patterns of the monster's movements. Monsters move only when you move, so don't worry even if a monster is in front of you. Oh good, I see a jelly right there. Why don't you try to get that jelly? Let's run right into it. It moves over once. And the basic battle, so... It's an icon-based battle system. This one will select switch party members when we have more than two. Our attack and escape. Open the attack button. We can cast spells, use items, defend, or use our IP ability. IP stands for Ikari points. That's on the trivia bot. Don't forget that. As well as attack. Now, if the closest thing to auto battle is just holding L and everyone will default to attack pretty quickly, it comes in handy when you're just grinding up. And that's why we bought that rapier, because otherwise we would only be able to kill it in one hit. And just hold A to scroll through the end of battles. That's our maxim. Jellies are nothing for him. But don't get cocky. Some monsters are fast. Getting two steps to your one. Also, when there are many monsters in a room, don't let them surround you. Now, unfortunately, even if you get surrounded by multiple monsters, you only engage in battle with them one at a time, but without any chance of healing in between. Or breaks. Of course, the monsters move only when you move, so stop and think before you act. Good. Let's move on to the next room. Enter the door over there. In this room, we will learn how to use skills. Press the select button to display the skills you have. Select the skill you wish to use. You not only have the skill arrow, but you will receive more. Incidentally, arrows can freeze enemy movement for a while. Press the Y button to shoot them. When you hit an enemy with an arrow, it's temporarily paralyzed. Bumping into a paralyzed enemy doesn't lead to a battle. Skills never run out, so shoot an arrow when you don't feel like fighting. 
Select the skill you wish to use with the select button and press the Y button to use it. You might use your skills often in dungeons. You can fight with that jelly there or use arrows to stop his movement and not fight. It's up to you. So there's our, our skill old circle. Not much we can do, but it remains stunned for six steps or six sword swings. We'll get into sword swings in a little bit. That's part of the part of the tutorial. But hey, level up. Another reason why it's good to hold A because we just get to see everyone's stat increases. The bridge gave way, but can be crossed when the switch in the back is shifted. The switch is not within your reach. Mm, we're in trouble. We can't go on. No, I was just kidding. You can also use skills in a situation like this. Arrows are not only to stop any movement. Why don't you hit that switch with an arrow? And bingo. We don't need to talk to him again. He'll just repeat the same thing. The door to the next room is locked. Can you find the key to open it? Oh, can you see the switch at the upper left? Stand on top of it. And immediately get it shut down again. See, that opened the door. Whoever, step off the switch to close the door. Got it? In other words, that switch works only with something on it. Now, what should you do? The answer is this pillar. Stand next to the pillar and walk while pressing the A button. And just hold the button to press it. Does he actually say anything? Good, go on now. Uh, okay, that's probably what he said. Right. That's right, Maxim. Please wait a moment. I almost forgot. I forgot to give you one very precious spell. You can't survive the dungeon without it. It's reset! If there's a puzzle like this in the room where you push something, you must remember one thing. And if you use it while, without saving your game and get chided by an angry old man, you're playing the wrong game. Although you can push the pillars, you can't pull them. In other words, if you push the pillar against a wall or door, you can do nothing more. But don't worry, there is a reset spell that sets it all up again. This spell sent you back in time to when you had just entered the room. Everything in the room resets to its original position, including the monsters, making it very useful for grinding if there were monsters worth grinding in dungeons because all the best ones to grind against are in the overworld. Reset does not take any MP, thus you can use it as many times as you wish. Possess a spell and you'll have nothing to fear. I shall give you the reset spell. You can also find reset on the skill ring. Press select then up or down on the control pad. Which is super handy because that way you don't have to ooh, oh, you don't have to open the spell you don't have to open the spell menu and use it every time, so it's uh, very handy. Whenever you see arrows like those on the cliff on the right, you can jump down. Give it a try. And just ignore him. A little thing for later. The next door will be open when you defeat all the monsters. When you can't find any devices or tricks, one way to solve a problem is to defeat all the monsters. Let's go ahead and showcase the back attack. If you run into the back of an enemy that has a butt, you can usually get a free infinite strike. Beat all the monsters and the door will open. Jellies don't have butts. Oh, just take that. I don't think I've ever seen a jelly use that ability in this. So that must be it maybe new the ROM hack. Another level up, 72 gold. I need about uh, three or four hundred before moving on. So I'll be doing a little overworld grinding. Press the B button to swing your sword. Now you probably already figured that out, out earlier, but I've I've got to give the tutorial script. You can cut grass using the sword. Sometimes switches are hidden under the grass. Why don't you try to find one? Okay, uh, there's got to be one around here somewhere, right? Follow the markings, you fool! <laughs> yep. Switches are usually quote-unquote hidden in pretty obvious places. Press the A button to pick up and put down the vase. This is a unique skill. Press the control pad while pressing the R button to change direction without moving. You need the skill to change direction when there's no room to move freely. Don't forget how to use the R button. Let's see, what do you think will happen if you put the pot on the a, a plate on that slate? Why don't you try? And save time. Gotta put the second pot on the second slate and we move. Well, I guess I've finished the lesson. Of course, you have only begun to learn. To get through many dungeons, you must try many different things. It's not easy to do, but I'm certain you'll make it. Well, I must be off. You left rather quickly, old man. Are you still hiding something from me? 